Hey, what's poppin', y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back to the Warren G707 TV. And I got a topic for y'all tonight. And ton tonight's topic is, she made up the whole kidnapping story. She made up the whole kidnapping story. Now, I want to discuss this topic. I'm not going to really go so much into detail about the young lady that, you know, did this. I know y'all seen it all over the news. It's all over Facebook. It's all over YouTube about the young lady that made up, you know, the kidnapping. She lied and pretty much said that she was kidnapped, made up a whole story behind it, right? Now, it's a shame. It's a shame that she had to do that. The reason why she did it, we don't know. We don't know. But something like that, you really shouldn't be going around making up a a, a, a story about you getting kidnapped. Like, that's serious. Like, that's some serious, you know, that's some serious thing, right? That's a serious thing right there. You know, and then making up a whole story behind it, you got the police... You got them on a search. I mean, they're doing everything they can do to try to find out, you know, where you're at, where you're located. They're investigating, you know. I mean, just all of this, you know, riffraff over a story, right? The police department, people worry, family members, you know. It's just not cool. But the thing that gets me is, I don't know how a person can sit up there and make up a serious story like that. A real serious story like that. And then, once it unfold, the story was fake. Now, everybody's supposed to just turn their back and move on like nothing ever happened. Right? How is that possible? How can somebody sit up there and make a real, uh, you know, make a kidnapping story like that and then just sweep it under the rug? Oh, I was lying. It was a story. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I made a mistake. Don't worry about it. Everybody go back to doing what they've been doing. Woo. You made a report saying that you were kidnapped. Now, look at this. Look at it like this, okay? If we have if we have women doing this, you know, uh, making false reports about them being kidnapped, and it's starting to carry on, you know, like a common thing, like, you know, they had the Jesse Smellett thing, you know, not just the women, but just anybody in period, just anybody in general. You know, that make up a story about them being kidnapped. You know, if this continue to happen, you know, cops and they're not going to take this shit serious. They really not going to take it serious because they're going to put you through a loophole eventually if you continue this, you know, this stupid stuff, this foolishness, you know. And I see entitlement in it as well, because the reason why I say I feel like I see entitlement in this situation is because, like, how you going to make up a story, right? You're going to make up a full story like that and then turn around and act like nothing ever happened. And then people that speaks their mind about the situation, that's frustrated about the situation. Now you're telling them to shut up. Don't say nothing about it. Of course, people are going to have reactions to it. Of course, people is going to respond to this. Of course. How could they not? I don't understand like how you could just commit a crime or do something wrong and then just sweep it under the rug like nothing ever happened. Everybody's supposed to turn their backs. That's not cool. That's not cool. You know what I mean? Like, you were wrong for that. And I hope your loved ones tell you that, that you were wrong for that, that you were wrong. You shouldn't have done that. That's serious. That's a serious, serious situation for somebody to be kidnapped. You don't play like that. 
Now, what if this shit really happened? What if it really happened? And then when it really happened, nobody even believes you now because you're making false accusations. That's crazy. You should not play with the law like that. You should not play with people like that. You know, you should not make up serious stories like that. You know, the only thing that I could see, you know, that can really uh, make this make sense is if you have a mental issue, if you have a mental issue, a mental illness, then I can see that. And now today, it's a lot of mental illnesses now. It's very common to see mental illnesses a lot, you know, and we need, we need to be aware of these things and we need to help the people that are going through these things that has a mental illness. We need to help these people. We really need to help them. If they really have a mental illness, we need to help them because I don't really see what was the purpose of making up a story about getting kidnapped. That is very serious. You don't play like that. You do not play like that. So I don't know if it had anything to do with just getting attention um, within the family. I don't know. But I haven't heard anything else after this case. Like, I didn't hear anything else happen. They just pretty much swept it under the rug. Like, if that was in California or somewhere, you would have been arrested. To sit up there and make a, a, a false al accusation like that, you know what I mean? You got police officers on a, on a hunt looking for you and all of that. You got a whole storyline behind this. You will be locked up. You will be locked up. Right? Now, I'm not here to make a video to down talk this person that did this because there's no point. There's no point to sit up here and really talk down. I don't want to talk down on anyone, but I want to make it a point. I want people to learn from this. I want people to learn from this because this is not cool. You can't just go around making stories like that and then just think it's cool. This is a lesson. I want people to be aware that you can't just go around and just making up stories. That's crazy. About being kidnapped as well. That's some real serious shit. I just don't believe it. I just, I don't understand it. You know? It's like the, uh, it's like, you know, you sit up here, it, like I said, if something was to ever happen, nobody won't believe you next time. They won't believe you. So word, word of advice. This is for learning. This is learning educational purposes. This is a lesson. This story that I'm talking about is a lesson. Do not make up a story about being kidnapped for attention. Don't do that. Don't play with the law. Don't have the law looking for you. Making false reports when you know it ain't true. If you have a mental illness and you're aware of it, please see help. Go and see some help. Get some help. Because that's not normal. That's not a normal thing. Right? So I'm like I said, I'm not here to bash anybody. But I want people to understand that this is not a game. This is not nothing to play with. Stop making up stories about being kidnapped. That's some serious shit. You know, it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people in the past that was kidnapped. Young girls, young ladies kidnapped. And you're over here making a story, a fake story about being kidnapped. I really don't appreciate that. And I'm sure a lot of other people don't either. So please. If you're watching this video, it's for educational purposes. It's a lesson. Stop making up false accusations about being kidnapped for attention. If you have a mental illness, get checked out. This is not a game. It is really not a game. And I really don't have much else to say. I really don't. But I wanted to bring that topic up because it's a shame that people got to sit up here and make up an, a damn story about them being kidnapped.
Mm, 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 mm. So, cut that out. Please, people, get checked out. If you got a mental illness, please get checked out. This is not cool. You know, especially the people out there that got daughters. I got daughters. I'm sure a lot of y'all got daughters out there. Y'all would be pissed if y'all knew that y'all daughter was sitting up here making a false story about her being kidnapped. You would be damn near ready to whoop her ass. Non-stop. Because you will worry the hell out of somebody coming up with some shit like that. So that's all I got to say. Stop the nonsense, people. What else? What else you guys got going on for 2023? What else? Whew. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. Like-minded people. And y'all about y'all shit. And y'all sharp. And y'all laces, y'all laces is, y'all boots is laced. Subscribe to the channel. Check me out, people. Like the video. I'll be back with another topic tomorrow. But I want to put that on y'all brain. If your daughter did that, how would you react? Put the comment down there. If your daughter was to sit up here and make up a story about being kidnapped, what would you do? Drop a comment. Hit the thumbs up. And I'm out. I'll be back tomorrow, y'all.